Right, here we go, next part. I need to sort out some of these that aren't actually getting modded. Hi guys, Ralph here. So, Project Constitution is on its way. Right, we have... The whole thing with this is I need to get all the models done first and then I need to figure out what display case I can mount them all in. Whether or not I light them or not is a different matter. There is one, the Bandai one, which will light and then the Master Replicas, the Master Replicas or Art Asylum, whichever one, that will light as well. But there's a little bit of fettling to get it to come on when I want it to, but I think I'll just leave it as a static, yeah, just a static sort of model with all the ships inside it. So, what I decided is the Discovery Enterprise stays as is. It's going to be 1701, don't care. The um, JJ Abrams version 2009 movie, that is also going to be a 1701, that had to stay as it is. Dan's, one from Dan's Model Universe, sent me this one. This is the Enterprise A. I have an Enterprise refit, which is the Bandai one, which I'm going to use as the standard refit, and the other three of these will be changed the names, but I want an Enterprise A. So that is going to get stayed as it is, the ISS Enterprise. There is no point in me changing this, because this is a one-off ship, and it's going to be as it is. So that is going to stay as it is. So already we've got four models which aren't getting touched. I have my spare Enterprise, but that goes with the other... Oh, I've never got now. I think there's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15... See, there's 16, so this is 17, I think it is. There's a lot of ships and a lot of messing around with stuff, but potentially there's more to come. I have two sets of decals in here, so I might actually do that one in a few minutes. We either do the Constitution, or we do the other one, which is in here. I think it's the New Jersey. Slightly different, but not by much. The colouring is completely different anyway. But why they changed those, I don't know. I'm probably going to just keep those on there anyway, on the sides. So some things will stay the same. I might just keep those on and just take the 1701 off. Put 1700 in there. So that's for doing that anyway. I want to do the shuttles. I have two so far. The both of them, obviously, the Galileo 1701-7. But... There are no decals for these just yet. I'm gonna wait until Bob Map finds some, gets some, does some, because I want the Copernicus, and I think it's Magellan, and the Galileo 2. So I think that's gonna be, maybe that gets changed to a 7-2 Galileo 2, I don't know. But we'll have to hold on for now on these. So, I'm gonna get these unboxed, put them out, and those will be complete. So, as we see, we have four Enterprises already done, and these will display as they are. I'm not showing you the uh, Diamond Select one, because this needs cleaning, this needs a bit of fettling, and maybe something to it, I don't know. And I'm still on the fence whether to use this or not. It is a nice model. It's not one of these, well, there's, there's bits with the um, screw hole parts anyway, but yeah, and it still works. Cool. So I'm not, yeah, I'll leave that there for a second, shall we? But as I said, the Disco Prize, which we saw in Discovery, I'm not sure if they changed any of this for the Strange New Worlds or not. I don't see why they would. Love a little ship. Very nice rethink on the entire Enterprise. I mean, this is as near as damage it's going to get, but it's not size-wise. To, to be honest, size-wise, it's probably about right for that anyway. I mean, yeah, they went a little bit silly on them. <clears throat> so everything will be in stands. The only thing that gets me a little bit is that stand fits fine. Fits right into the corner there, but it is not in. I don't know whether or not to do something about that. Maybe put a bit of hot glue on the underside so I'll never see it and just wedge it in place properly. But I've never, I've never really displayed any of these. These have all just been shown off on the, the, the videos. These are extras. These are not the ones that I have done videos for actually as a physical thing but they're all bought extras for this project so it's yeah, they're all new they're all second hand new second hand or whatever for some reason i think that's white and that's blue was that being displayed oh no i might have to put that sideways a bit of fading on one side of it I mean, uh, there are some of the Enterprises that I bought from a guy on, on uh, eBay, bought them for dirt cheap, £12 per ship, that was including postage, bought, I think I bought 12 of him, 
So he was happy with the sale, I was happy with the buy. So yeah, th there were some of those within the cells that fell off, but it was down to glue not staying for long enough. I mean, to be honest, some of these, some of these early models are over 10 years old now. So it's, yeah, that one will have been one a special, uh, don't think it would be before number 50. This was 70 something, these were in, out, special and, and discovery fine so they are getting on a bit and the glue that i think they were manufactured with were absolutely rubbish so we have four almost five ready i'm gonna do one of these i'm gonna try and put the new jersey on for this episode i don't want long episodes i want short ones i want to show done happy sorted and right we're gonna get on with doing the new jersey now these are very easy to do but very very dangerous so kids, if you're doing this yourself, make sure your supervisor have an adult near you. I'm using pure acetone. Bob Mapp does actually state that don't use acetone, use nail varnish remover. I don't have much use and any which look with that. When I did the shuttle packs, it was, it took forever to come off, but it left the surface um, shiny. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use acetone. I've got plenty of cotton buds cotton swabs, whatever you want to call them. I don't care. I'm English, they're cotton buds. So I've got a mat on here. I, it will, the acetone will not burn itself through this straight away. I just want to protect my blue mat because it's yeah, mine. So start with, open her up. Be very careful. If you put this on your hands, it will make your fingers go wet. So it's a little drop on there. I'm going to do the whole front part on this. I'm going to take off all of the USS Enterprise and the NCC-1701. And I'm going to get you in a little bit better. Move this mat around. There she is. Right, let's start off with the side, the 1701. The thing with it is it's done that now. That's good. Tissues around to wipe off. Otherwise it's going to go into the rest of it. So be careful. Also, when you've got the cotton bud like that, it's kind of full with ink. It smears around like that, don't worry. Turn the cotton bud around. Try again. Be nice and jet delicate, nice and slow. I don't want to take any of the, the grey paint off. Well, whatever colour that paint is. Nice and steady. Wipe. And steady as she goes. I mean, once it's gone onto here, it's not coming off. It's on there forever, so you'll be using. I'll probably need to change this now. I'm just gonna take it steady. There you go, and one done. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some of this in the cap, because that makes it a lot easier. I mean, I have got a lot of models to do this with. So this is gonna take quite a while to do. If do this too much, I will take off all of the paint and I'm being selective on what I'm taking off. Just see, there you are. Acetone does evaporate quite quickly. So it's all right. Well, it's not all right, obviously, but it's um, fine. Now, I'm just thinking with me doing this now, I'm probably gonna get a little bit of white patch there because I'm holding this next to where there is still some acetone. Turn around, you don't wanna rub the actual ink into anything else that you don't want it to. Ta-ta Enterprise, ta-ta. Nice and steady, keep swapping your cotton buds. Go with too much, you will take off this colour. That's probably fine enough for me for there. Right. I need to run underneath, so the NCC1701 needs to go. We have those there, these two on the side of here. And I'm going to keep the side part on here, there's no point in me removing that. I'm going to take off the 1701 off the side of here and just use the centre part on there. I don't know about using the black parts. This part over here goes on the front, I think. It's not perfect using this, but once it's done, 
which is going to be fun to do. <sighs> right. So we now have a deregistered Enterprise. Nothing on the top, nothing underneath, nothing on the... Well, yeah, nothing on the side, but I'm going to cut out the numbers fitting there anyway. And like I say, I'm going to keep them as is. The um, decal sheet, yes, we're going to put the registry on the top of the saucer and the number, well, and then the name. These two go underneath the saucer. One goes one way and one reverse. I'm going to cut out these two here to fit on the nacelles. These, well, these two are for the side of the, yeah, on side of the secondary hull. I'm not using those. And these three are optional. Now, if, uh, I've made a few model kits anyway. The best one is from the Polar Lights 1 1000. It's small, it's, it's, yeah, it's quite good, but you can do four different types of ship. But to these two black ones, it's either, I think it's the original pilot, which is, is it? Yeah, no, it's a second pilot version. And that at the front, so it goes round this light here, that light there, and on the front here. Or it's the mirror version. So I think the mirror version actually has a, a mirror logo going forward. So they, them three are definitely optional. But if you're going to do the first pilot, that part there, right there, is used for it, and the black parts aren't because they are white. But if you're going to use a normal standard production number, you don't use any of those. I mean, a big shout out to Bob Matt 343 Designs for the decals, and there are more in the post soon. So let's get these cut out for how I want them, and let's get them stuck to the ship. Decal fitting as normal, cut out as close as you can to the actual part you want to do. These parts are over here, so they are the ones for underneath. Go as close as you can, there's no need to go right up against it, it's, it's fine being whatever. Dip it in lukewarm water for a few seconds. I'll take that out, put it on the side. I'm going to do both at the same time, to be honest, because I can I think I can get away with it. It just wants... It'd be less adhered to the back. I dab away some extra water that's already collecting on there, so it's not gonna be drenched in it. There's enough to just taking the part off the back as is. Right, the only thing you need to know about these ones is, oh, I've got the diag A diagram in front of me. This faces, the N is always on the outside. Simple as. I want some pointy um, tweezers, that's better. Some really old crummy set, but I can't really let them go. So just dabbing off. That should be, both should be ready by now. Just try and slide them off, which that's done. Now these have to be slap bang in the middle, lined out between that dot, light, light dot in the center. Probably best putting a little bit of water on here first before you do that. If you can't, then just get a brush and put a little bit of water. If you don't need anything else, you can use Microsol if you like, but there's there's no real point at this stage. I need to push that over. Nice and steady. Not too close to the centre. Actually, it's weirded me out a little bit. I've got the diagrams in front for the Polar Lights one. The production one, actually I've got one, two, three, four. Why is the, for some reason, every one of these on the, the first pilot, the second pilot and the mirror are the ends are on the middle instead of on the outside. I need to check something. Hmm. I don't want to do this wrong. The ends are on the outside on these. Right, because these are full production out. I wonder if they, hmm. Ah, they did it wrong, because the mirror one is meant to be the ends on the inside. Yes, because it's meant to be all backwards. So that's a little error, little error that I'm not going to adjust. So I am correct on this. So pull it out a little bit. Nice and low with the middle. Dab on the tissue just to squeeze out anything that's on there. And I'm done with one. Turn over. 
can get that off there, so be it. Let's zoom in a little bit. We can get in the right spot to see this one go on. Ooh, that's going everywhere, that. Shaky hands this morning, don't know why. The shiny part of these decals will be gone because I'm going to put a quick spray of matte acrylic. Well, you know, not matte acrylic, matte, matte um, over the top of that. Now that is done. I'm happy with that. Cool. Now I've got the rest of the ship to do. Since I'm only doing there, these aren't straight because this is one of the ones that was broken. But I don't care. This is the Metallis um, nod to himself. Well done. Yeah, there's NCC 1975. I have got another one coming, which is a big nod to me. But when the decals come, then they will be done. So I'm going to put the rest on and you can see this when it's finished. There she is. <clears throat> That's the first one of the re stickering, the USS New Jersey. I'm actually quite impressed. I think it's straight. Maybe my eyes are a bit wonky. I don't know. On the new side, they're all done. Right, the only problem I've got with this is these side ones. I really should have took off. It probably, it maybe I could get away with the front bit, but I'll probably take away that back bit as well because the lettering is bigger than what was on there originally. So it barely, if at all, fits. So, yeah, there's no gap between where the um, lettering is and the letter within the, the pinstriping really so I would recommend maybe taking off the red part and then cutting the number and the red bit if you want to do the entire lot do the entire lot there is one more decal on here which looks like it could do with being put on but I actually missed it you ready on this one right that little tiny little bit right there those are the back of the shuttlecraft shuttle bay and if anybody thinks I am putting that on there, you've got another thing coming. That's far too too small for me, and that isn't smooth enough. So, to start with, I'm happy enough. With that, it's cool. It's a start. USS New Jersey. I know it wasn't a proper one of the Constitution-class ships. It was put in in Picard Series 3, and yes, it's fine. It's a start. It's a damaged ship which has been got a new lease of life. I mean, Enterprise, yeah, I, can, I could peel that off if I wanted to. I'm going to leave it on there anyway. So that's the first bit done of actually redoing these. That's as simple as what that's going to be. Either, because at present, while I'm filming, I'm still waiting for Bob Matt to send me a stack load of decals. I have got that constitution I can do, which, yes, nice enough, same as... Shuttle Bay, Mark Mark, da 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 fine. But I can either do that on the next episode or I can just leave it and wait till I got my big sheet of stuff. I probably actually will do that on my own now actually. Just grab one out of the um out of one of the boxes and do one now. Maybe that one. But I'll do that off camera. So that's a start. I've got one, two, three, four, five ships complete and done. So Project Constitution continues. And I'd, I'd like, well, if you've got this far, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, follow me on social media, and I'll see you in another video. Unless you want to be a Patreon, then I may consider doing stuff on Patreon on its own. But seeing as there's not that much activity over there, there's no real point. So at present, yeah, that's fine. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.